cappuccio Paolo. Eh? Il cappuccio. Sailing, otherwise known as the way to commit suicide. The person is tied to the boat by a line and hoisted aloft. You can hear the person screaming in the background. Oh no, Mr. Bill! Oh, I want to come down! But it is all to no avail because the boat driver, he is heartless. The parachute will now go past the in the Mediterranean. This is the Italian chapter we're going into. We're here in beautiful downtown Naples, Italy, otherwise known as the city of trash and filth. And it was a little rough getting here. We had to fight our way through a harbor full of dead fish, but we've made it. We have arrived at the peak of Naples in all its beauty and splendor. People are just getting up this morning after a hard night of drinking. Typical Monday morning that you find anywhere. Reflexes are a little slow. We paid good money to come up here and see this view. <laughs> About 30 cents. Quite a view it is. And here we have Giovanni Shu, who traveled a long 
long way to see Giovanni's shoe. Here it is in the street, a national monument to the Italian people. Beautiful sidewalks in Naples. Good parking job. So here we have an example of the environmental flavor of Naples. The air, as you can see, is very healthy, very good for developing children, very good for trees, plants, shrubberies. As you can see in this example, nice brown grass. This is the view we really came to see. Worth 30 cents. The carrier is out there somewhere. We can't find it in the, in the fog. No. We no. certainly hope that they have set the look. Now, yes. We have a busy intersection today for Italians to enjoy this filming session. biggest building in all of Italy, in all of Napoli anyway. The building, it is very large, yes? Yes. Yes, very large. Why is it large? Because they made it that way. Why did they make it that way? Why did they not make an economy model? So it would hold a lot of people, lots of Italians. As you can see, there's many Italians for it to hold. Should they make a swim for it? The answer is no. They should swim away from it.
quieted down somewhat in this busy intersection here since we were here again. It has gotten darker now. And Vincent Brown is counting the winnings. We were counting the money that I must pay for the beers that Inswine got and drank. Swilled down like a typical American, right out of the bottle. What a dirtbag, what a spectacle he made of himself on this evening, this grand occasion here in Napoli. The Italian beer is called Peroni. If you talk, you can hear it too. Escape from the Saratoga, clean. Get away, caught by Commander Cummings on the brow. Hey, hey, comrade, I buy you what good to be secret, eh? No, 
idea. Fear and Loathing in the Mediterranean, the Yugoslavian chapter. He was terrified. He says he's going to walk back. <laughs> Out the distance, you can see the Slugatoga, mightiest carrier in the fleet. <laughs> carrier harboring war heroes, war heroes from the Achille Lauro incident. Thought those ragheads a lesson that day. <laughs> this is the small village of Minsk. Minsk is located at the bottom of the Yaroslav Mountains. Metropolis. This, this is it. This is the town of Dubrovnik. As we showed you in our Naples, Naples series, Naples was the city of trash. This is the city of no dirt. <laughs> Lovely islands. Henson Brown will retire to one of these islands one day. His own private paradise inhabited by scantily clad women. <laughs> the Marines think they have taken over this mountaintop. Yes, they have definitely they're, secured the beachhead. They say they are king of the hill. <laughs> they are fighting the American flag. Soon Navy squids will show up. Show them the mean of sea power and fling them from the cliff <laughs> into the ocean. They are the proud, the few. There's they are the marine. This is old town Dubrovnik. Fleet landing.
Here we have officers of the United States Navy drinking, cavorting, <laughs> drunkenly in an open bar here in Yugoslavia. <laughs> the commander is leading them in a drink. He's the one that said, you fucking guys, why are you going off the boat? Rick. Zoom in, Bob. <laughs> Zoom in, Bob. I am zoomed in. I will now approach them and try to make contact with this lower form of life force. Here I am. Having fun? <laughs> I'm having fun. Good. <laughs> From the top, the same thing I've been taking pictures of. <laughs> Notice the amazing change over the last. The head is in my way. <laughs> over the last hour, we're at the highest point now. There's some, there's some chickens. Yeah, zoom in on the chickens. We have Yugoslavian chickens. That's a chick where the Craig wishes he was. Yeah, sailing. There's the chicken that the famous Saratoga chicken shirts were patterned out of. <laughs> the flying chicken shirts. Where? Right Where there. Have the uh, <laughs> you seen the flying chicken shirts yet? No. <laughs> <laughs> you got the Saratoga chicken like this. Probably like a focus here. I'm gonna fall over the edge, take the picture. Chickens are eating seeds. There's the garden. Are they garden of these Yugoslavian tomatoes for tomato salad? Very good. Yes. This is by far the scariest ride in Dubrovnik. Much scarier than the taxis. They're all Mercedes. The Yugoslavian. Here comes a good part. Here comes a good part. Hold on. Here's the fun part. <laughs> Everybody back, forward, back, forward, back. You want to get a swing and get a good pendulum motion. Yeah, yeah. That's the fellow just takes a picture of himself.
little Adriatic Sea, as seen from the Hotel Park in Dubrovnik. It's a beautiful view that we have awakened to after having a nightmarish night. Nightmares formed by potato beer, Nick Sicko, and the national drink of Yugoslavia, plum brandy, otherwise known as Slibovich. Cat's camera shy. And we are here to witness it. There will be no gondola rides today. <laughs> Second great fire of 1985 in Nebraska. It's just started. We're here to eyewitness. It's a tragedy, isn't it? You hear that there's 10 or 15 tourists trapped on the, on the top. I don't know how we're going to get them down. The rock is burning. There's another place where it started. And you're here to witness it all. Bob, let's go take a gondola ride up to the fire. What do you think? I think it'd be exciting. A little hard to breathe, though. <laughs> we'll take our Mark Fives. We'll take our OBAs. Yeah, it's really, it's really, God, it's spreading fast. That enormous heat. Sure, I'm glad we got to go up there and take pictures before it burned up the whole country. <laughs>